Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing your details about Amazon CloudFront. Amazon CloudFront, it is used to securely deliver content with low latency and high transfer speeds. It also reduces latency by delivering data through 310 plus globally dispersed points of presence. It also helps to improve security with traffic encryption and access control. It also helps us in cutting the cost down with consolidated requests, customized pricing options, as well as zero fees for data transfer out from the AWS regions. Where we can use this Amazon CloudFront, it is used to deliver fast and secure websites, accelerate dynamic content delivery and APIs, stream live and on-demand videos, distribute patches and updates. So in today's video, we'll be doing a lab, how we can use a CloudFront distribution. So I'll be showing you like uh, how to use it. So we'll create a S3 bucket and a static website. And then we will use the CloudFront distribution in order to make the website available, make the website accessible through the CloudFront distribution. So let's move on to the AWS console. The first thing that we are going to do over here is to create S3 bucket. So let's create a bucket over here. S3 cloud front K1. I'm using the region US East Virginia, US East one, and let it be the so things default block all public access, create the bucket. Okay, so our bucket has been created S3 cloud from BK one. Now in this one, before uploading anything, let's go to the properties. And we can click on this, enable static website hosting, host a website. Uh, default page, let it be index.html that I'm going to upload. An error, you can keep it optional, no issues with that. So we are hosting a static website. No need of defining any rules, save the changes. So go back to the bucket. Here we are going to upload, add files. So I'm adding one image and index.html file, basic file. Upload. So once it is being uploaded, you can go to the console over here. Now, if I click over here, object URL, you can see I'm not able to access because my all access to the bucket is not public, it's restricted. So even if I go to the object actions over here, if I want to, share with the pre-signed URL that I can share over here. But if I want to open here, you can see it is opening, but still the image is not accessible. Only the text is accessible through the S3 bucket. Now what we are going to do, rather than giving a full access to our bucket, we will make a CloudFront distribution. So we'll go to the CloudFront. So here it is CloudFront. So we will create a distribution. So you can choose over here your bucket. You 
S3 cloud front BK1 dot S3 dot Amazon dot WS that is origin domain and the name automatically comes now here the bucket must allow public access then only we can use this one but now our bucket is not having a public access so I will use this option that is used for creating a origin access identity for accessing the S3 bucket. So by default, there is nothing is there. So I'll click create new and click create. So you can see over here. Now we can choose this. So here also choose the option. Yes, update my update the bucket policy and rest of the things we can keep it same. So by default, this cash policies are there that because once we enable the cloud front, our files will be delivered from the cloud front, not from the S3 bucket. It will get cached in the cloud front. So we'll come to that point later on. Maybe in the next video, I will explain you those caching options or invalidations. So for the time being, we can just click create distribution. So it will take some time, two to three minutes. can go to the distributions over here you can see it has been deploying it takes some time so you can see over here it will take two to three minutes in order to enable this cloud front so you can see now it is enabled you can check over here status enabled so you can go over here and you can copy this one and put it in a URL. So you can see it is access denied. So you can see over here, the cloud front is not accessible. So we can go back over here, we can edit and here we need to define over here text.html that is a default root object and save changes so it will take some time again to deploy it's still in the deploying state let's wait for two three minutes so still it is just deploying i think it's deployed let me click on it so you can copy the URL and you can run this one. So you can see it is coming, but still it's not uploading the picture. You can just uh, slash PNG. So still access denied to that picture. Still it is in deploying state. We should wait for a while. I think it's done now, it's modified. Let's go back. We can also try in another browser, check whether it works or not. So you can see the picture is not coming. So you can see the image is not coming over here. We can just I will check over here in my bucket so you can see the bucket so this is the name of the file so it should be accessible from our cloud front slash the bucket name so you can see the image is accessible i think there is some issues with my index page let me modify this uh, over here i'll put the capital G C. And then let's save back again, upload. Let me first delete the existing one. So it has been deleted. 
let's upload the new index file so let's go back to our cloud front over here and see if it works or not still not working because it's getting saved in the cache so we will go to our cloud front over here behavior we will select this one and edit over here let me check over here origins invalidation so i have just updated over here so i, have, I will create one invalidation like all for all the files that I'm updating in the bucket should get updated. So you can refresh over here. Now you can see the image is coming. So this invalidation is there. When you update any, make any changes, then it will not immediately start reflecting. So we need to make invalidation rule. So you can see if I go back over here, invalidation so this is by default created over here in progress so any file so it will immediately update my cloud front distribution suppose again if i make some changes to the s3 file s3 index.html file let's say if i am adding some changed and then I will upload this one again. Let me delete this one. So I will upload the new one. Now you can see over here. Control F5, still not reflecting over here. So I need to go back over here. Again, I have to clear the cache, then only it will work. So I can try in another browser. Still, it is not showing. So let me. Go to this invalidations and just you can click on it copy to new and create invalidation So you can see it's now showing you the latest page. So it your content remain cached in order to provide it at a low latency as well as in a faster speed. That's what the main purpose of CloudFront is. But in order to refresh the cache, we need to create this invalidations. Then only it will pick up the fresh data, fresh content from the S3 bucket. Now, if, yeah, if I go back over here, if I go to the permissions if you remember while creating the cloud from distribution we created a origin access identity and as well as we give the permission to change the bucket policies so you can see this bucket policy is getting added automatically so we are not giving a public access to our bucket we are keeping it you can see over here it's not having a public access but we are accessing the bucket content through cloud front distribution. So this is the distribution domain name that we have. So in order to refresh, always remember we need to add over here in validation rules. Uh, forward slash star, that means all, all the content. So this is how we can use the cloud front distribution. So in the next video, I will show you how we can use the cache statistics and all. Like now it is not updating our uh, website immediately so we can have a total time to live like after how much time the cache should get refreshed and all 
pick up the fresh content from the S3 bucket. So those things I will explain you in the next video. So I hope you like this video. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.